Hello lovely fellow zookeepers, welcome to K Woods Bay Zoo. A zoo that we have just started with on Planet Zoo. And this zoo will focus on no uh, the North America side of the game. So a lot of North American animals and we're going to try to add some North American style buildings. So that is the theme for the zoo, North America. <laughs> Pretty easy, right? So this zoo is going to be a let's play. So we are mainly doing uh, things live, like no speed build or anything, no, not speed up. But from time to time when we have large builds, I will speed it up just a little bit. So <laughs> we have uh, more time to do things because otherwise we will have like three videos of maybe building one diner or something like that. And I don't think we are waiting for that, right? But for now, I don't think we are ready to make like a diner, big diner area or anything like that because we still need to get money for that. And yeah, we are not there yet. So with this let's play, it is also uh, something you can help with, with building the zoo. I would love to have your input in creating the zoo. So if you have an, any ideas, Please let them be heard in the comment section. And yeah, um, also if you have something nice that we can place in this zoo that fits the theme, please leave the link to the workshop in the, the comment section and I will look at it and perhaps it will end up in our zoo. So that would be very nice, I think, because this is our zoo. It's not just my zoo, it's from all of us. So everyone is welcome to join in and help out. Also, what I thought of doing was um, doing live streams of this video, of, of this video, <laughs> of this zoo. <laughs> From time to time, I was thinking every fifth uh, video episode of this series, so we can really build it together. And yes, those live streams will be longer than the videos that we will put up on YouTube. I think the live streams will be like an hour, but the videos like this will be around half an hour at the most. That's what I plan to do. Maybe one time it's a bit longer or a bit shorter, but it's around that area. So this is also why I will sometimes speed things up just a little bit, just so we can put more in that half an hour. So we have more time to do th other things as well. And I think it will be nicer to watch as well. So yeah, any big projects so when we're going to detail habitats and do other detailed things, we are going to speed it up. But otherwise it will all be as we go and I speed up and yeah, just have fun and yeah, have fun. <laughs> so let me think. We are doing some maintenance right here, and we are going to add the capuchin monkey, as you have seen just now. So I'm really excited for that. The thing is with these franchise modes it's sometimes hard to get the animals that you want in there because you don't have always have the animals available sometimes you only have like the males or sometimes you only have the females <laughs> and yeah that can be quite hard but i think that is part of the challenge of 
the franchise too, right? And we have to think a bit further when it comes to breeding, you know, I don't... I want to try to minimize the inbreeding, but if it sometimes happens, will happen, it will happen. I mean, I cannot stay on top of it every time. Things happen and yeah. If it happens, we are not going to make too big of a deal of it. At least I hope, and I hope you are, are agreeing with me with that as well. <laughs> oh, I'm struggling with this fence, come on. This is so, it's so weird that when I do it one direction it is having trouble with it and if I do it from the other side <laughs> it's pretty much okay. That's so weird. I do think this might be a bit big for the monkeys. But we'll see. Um, yeah, might be a bit big. <laughs> And I do want a separate viewing area. I don't want them just to walk past it and blocking the roads. I'm going to change up the roads. Let the main road bypass it. And yeah, we're going to do something like this. Yes, okay. <laughs> just trying to figure out. Okay. <laughs> It's not really doing what I want it to do, but we've got it. I don't want it connecting up to the other main road. I just want it to be like this. <laughs> yes, this is fine. Uh, let's check. Um, I want some windows here. One way, of course. And I really need to check the um, the size of it. But first, let's get some monkeys. Let's see what's on the market. Um, let me see. Let me see. Okay, mm the size isn't too big, and the immunity is not that great. But we can work with the, around that. And. I don't think the size is the most important part at the moment. Uh, this is an average girl, so that's good for me. But we do need a guy. We need a male. Let's see. Uh, that's too expensive. Well, okay. Um, let's go for this one. We can afford it at this moment, so. I do know they prefer more animals, but we have to start with a few because we don't have a lot of conservation points. So, and we don't have a lot of money, so we just have to go with it. And yeah, let's p put them into their habitat. Then we'll probably be able to see. How big it is. Let's check it out now. Okay. Uh, okay. So that is almost ten no not ten times. Five times as big or something like that than is needed. <laughs> Oops. Let's let's change that up a bit. I didn't understand. Because, yeah, and my phone reacted to that. Great. <laughs> Sorry for that. If you have, if you heard my phone for just a second. So we've made it just a tad smaller. And we need a road for the zookeepers, of course. Okay, uh, let's see how the animals, where are they? Where are the animals? Oh, let's get this reward first, okay? <laughs> and then, oh, there it is. 
we got a message already that is making it easy and there's the other one <laughs> of course one is in the quarantine area right now so we <laughs> we don't need to look for that one I'm just checking the size again still pretty big but we'll do with it I don't want it to be too small because we I do want some um, area to work with and the smaller the habitat <laughs> the less area you have to have you have to make look nice and stuff like that so yeah oh the quarantine is passed great we can join this monkey with the others so that's lovely let's see what they need okay yeah social yeah i figured that one what else what else what else let's do yeah let's do some terrain <laughs> let's check what they need for the terrain of course okay so they want basically they would like a lot of they like soil and some grass so we're just going to mix that up again just what like we did with the other habitats i like to play around with it i think then it, it's a bit more fun if you play around like it like this with it and yeah let's add some slightly rock texture to it not so much for the rock but just to get some more definition in the in the terrain and i think i like that mostly it's just giving some more texture to it and it's not much but still it's something let's get some more light detailed and you can still see the soil and the grass and things like that and i'm going over it with a little bit of dirt because some of the places were a bit too much so now let's get into getting some stuff in i'm just thinking should i add like a climbing frame that is already pre-made or should i make one myself before we decide let's check what's available okay let's see how let's see what do we have um let's get oh blueprints only let's see no that doesn't fit in here mm. that's too big <laughs> that's way too big This is hard, you guys. Maybe this one, no. I don't know. What do you guys think? Because we can change things up in the next video. If you think something else will be nicer. Maybe we'll soon have to make our own. That is also possible. I'm just thinking about it for now. We are going to play something. Um, let me see. I think we're going to play this one for now. And yeah, maybe we will change it up in the future. I don't really know about that yet. Please let me know again. <laughs> and yeah we'll see what we're going to do with this so let's see what else do they need they need plants of course so let's go and add some of that and i do want some climbable trees to add to um yeah the, the climbing space that they would like to see 
Um, yeah, so just some couple of different ones. Just to get a nice variety of plants and yeah. I don't want only climbable trees. I do want some bushes and some other things in here as well. I'm just going to make it as lush as possible, I think, for now. And let's get that random rotation on. I really like that. It really makes the life easier on Planet Zoo. Because you don't have to turn everything around yourself. But the thing is, when you're building like a structure, you don't do have to put it out again, <laughs> otherwise it's not easy with building <laughs> so yeah i i have had that a couple of times so i'm talking about experience i was like why is it acting that way this weird when i played like beam or anything and i was like oh wait um yeah uh, the rotation is still on so yeah there we have that and i think i did mention it in the previous video with the diorama that my husband is going to get me a new microphone when I hit the 250 subscribers oh. so yeah <coughs> of course it will be um, a microphone that is better than the one I have now so yeah it's going to be a really nice upgrade for my room here so very excited for that I'm still oh I'm I want like something nice on the wall but I cannot I see I cannot find anything nice for it I'm really struggling with that because I do want uh, some more sound absorbers so to speak that it, <laughs> the echo will be even less than it is now because I know it's still a bit there the sound isn't really as good as I wish but I'm working on that and yeah I hope I will find some nice things to add to this room in order to help with that but yeah I, I do want some nice things as well I was looking for like maybe some Asian wall art but I haven't been able to find anything nice that was easy to order so yeah just still looking for something nice but I'll get there eventually <laughs> um, so yeah that is a little bit of that and uh, people are complaining that the prices are too low oh. <laughs> I find that like a funny thing in this game that they complain that the prices are too low I can imagine if they say like the prices are too high you know but too low <laughs> I, I don't know you know it's like, kind of weird um, I'm not like the kind of girl that would or woman that would say like okay um I'm walking through this amusement park or any something like that and I'm like well you know the tickets were actually too cheap for this place <laughs> I would rather uh, say something like that if it would be too high of a price but too low? No. <laughs> I don't think I ever said that before. So that is something different. And I'm just trying to playing around here with some tree trunks. Trying to create a nice shelter for the animals. But I'm not sure if I like it. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm just trying it out. Just 
let's first try things before we um, make a decision let's make it bigger at first and let's see does it count as a shelter because if it's not then hmm let's see in the heat map we need oh I need to select an animal of course no it's not a shelter I mean why is it not a shelter there are some they are so small why is it not a shelter a shelter I sometimes I don't really get that I mean you would think it would be a shelter right you think it it covers the animal right so it's a shelter I don't get it and I'm still not sure if I like it hmm no <laughs> gonna get rid of it I'm not liking it at all so what's next let me see what are we going to do I'm not even sure what I'm going to do at this point <laughs> hmm. I feel like making some building something but I'm not sure what so why not get some rocks in here <laughs> some small rocks popping out of the ground just to give it some texture again I saw some other planet zoo builders do the, this and I thought that is very smart and I'm going to do that as well I hope they don't mind <laughs> but I guess in the end we're there to learn from each other and yeah oh where are where's the monkey um <laughs> I just sometimes have that like I probably went over it already but sometimes you just can't really find out yeah how and what and where <laughs> there are so many things like okay maybe it was like white faced or only cap capuchin or ah like there capuchin or is it a complete lame <laughs> I was struggling with that oh no book is off please so let's get some enrichment items in here I think they would like that let's get a box boxes are always cool this is a bit too well, big, no. Well, we can place it here. And we'll just move the tree away for a bit. Do I mind the rocks popping out? No, I don't mind, I think. Okay, let's get some donation pins. That was what? what I was looking for because they will generate some money for us so let's get a quick look if there's any nice animals in here no no let's say hi hello I always like to say hello to my visitors, my VIP visitors. I like that a lot. Yes, I do. <laughs> okay, so we've done that. We. Okay. We did some management just there. <laughs> Making sure all the habitats are clean. And I noticed some dirt here, some trash. So let's put in some trash cans. Let's put in a few like that. Good. 
and they need some education. Hmm. And drinking isn't that good as well. But yeah, we'll see what happens there. Okay. There's an animal sick, but it is treated. And I'm gonna check on the conservation point. Uh, we have a few diseases that isn't um, researched yet. So I think I'm going to place the veterinarian on one of those. Okay, what are we going to do next? La let's do another exhibit animal. Let me see where am I where am I going to place this one? Let's see. Let's 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 place one right here. Why not? And let's go in search of an animal. Is there okay those are only males um, let's do the diamond therapy there's only one male <laughs> that's not really much um, killer monster okay that's also not really something okay what else do we have let me check the list very quickly and let me write some things down. So we have the green iguana. The lesser iguana. That spider. The red eye frog. Tree frog, sorry. And we have the west diamond back rattlesnake. Let's see. Can we find a nice exhibit animal now? West Diamond, oh, only females. You see, this is what I mean with the challenge of a franchise zoo. <laughs> it's not always easy. Ooh, we've got some males and females. Mm, let's go for the queen iguana then. And which what is our best female? I think this one is it. So and let's send them to their exhibit. And I wanna check just the other animals as well. Oh look. Let's add these to our waiting lists. So if we have a new exhibit, we can just place them. And yeah, we're just going to keep an eye on the exhibit. And I think we can do that in the future as well. Like if we see something with two genders that is working for us, we can save them and for later. So that's especially when we have the money for it. So yeah. Mm. Yeah, let's head back to our exhibit. Let's get some donation bins. Okay. Um, just checking how it looks. And thinking what are we going to do? Oh yeah. Let's get the temperature and stuff correct in here. Just needs to be a bit warmer. Humidity has to be lowered a bit. Let's check, okay. I think we're good. Just need some time. Um, oh yeah, and we need a power source. I'm gonna put it at the back. I know it doesn't have like a negative impact for the guests. But it doesn't look all too pretty, right? If it's right in front of you. So I'm just gonna hide it at the back of this exhibit. Just checking for the negative areas. It's pretty much the trash areas that is negative at the moment. So let's help our 
cleaners will clean it up very soon. Let's get another tra uh, trash bin, I wanted to say. <laughs> Donation bin. And I'm gonna do the windows for this one. Oh, no, the, I don't need the window one. Um, so yeah, let's, let's get some facades in here. Do I want them? Oh, oh no, no, wrong one. Wrong one. <laughs> uh, number two. Okay. Do I want them all to be 3D? I'm not sure. Maybe. Get one. This is two. Yeah. The backside is now 2D. And the sides are 3D. I think that is quite nice. Yes. We're going with this, I guess. Let's check our antelopes because there are a few that are almost maturing. There are two males in there. <laughs> so that's going to cause a problem when they are adults. So let's check their genes. And I do have to say, I have, when I checked the G the genes of um, the animals. I do have like my own system or to see very quickly what animal has to go and which one does not. And I'm just going to check here how many males can there can be in the group. That's just one. Okay. So we really need to get a uh, few of these males gone when they grow grow up. Um, so yeah, we're, we're probably going to rename them pretty soon, I think. Just need to deal with some other things first. <laughs> okay, so... Yeah, they are about to mature. Am I going to name them already? Maybe it is a wise thing to do. Yes, yeah, so what I do with this is like um, a minus is like bad, like uh, the numbers are in red. A slash is like orange. Um, plus is for it's in the green. And I believe I do the star thing when something is like a hundred percent. So yeah, that is my system. <laughs> it's maybe a weird, but that way I do have, uh, I can see pretty quickly in the overview which animal has to go and which can stay. And, but I do think we're going to Maybe because of the breeding and I want to try to keep the inbreeding as low as possible. We might end up buying a new mill and sell the other mills. So maybe that is something we can do. Let me check if there's a mill available that is to our liking. So, okay, this one is pretty good. Ooh, this one is better. It, it is like a wide version of it. Do I want that? I'm just thinking, should I get for, go for this one or should I keep looking? If there are other options, let's check if we have more options first. Let's do males. <laughs> it may make it a bit easier. And I do want to add like a maximum amount of credits that I want to use. So let's check it out. Let's see. This one is still... The white ones are still pretty good. Um, let me check. I think we're probably going to end up with one of the 
the white options yeah let's just do it and then we are going to get rid of the adult male and when the other ones are grown we are going to sell those as well so and with that i think we have done enough for today um yeah so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't joined our family please subscribe and i hope to see you all in the next video i love you guys bye bye